In good health this morning, have you ever caught a cold and wondered who you caught it from? Try to blame somebody for it. I guess, or sometimes you're like, I caught it from you. Exactly. <laughs> right. On Wellness Wednesday, our Dr. Frank McGeorge looks at why it's so easy for all of us to get sick. This video shows a stunning view of a sneeze as it happens. Now, when you see this, you begin to understand how easy it is to spread germs and how tough it is to stop them. The black and white video shows how large a typical sneeze cloud can be. Those are droplets of mucus and saliva flying through the air, some contaminated with viruses and bacteria. The video was made by researchers at MIT who are trying to uncover the secrets of a sneeze to understand how far it travels and how long it lingers. They've learned the droplets are a variety of shapes and sizes, from a fine mist to large drops. When someone sneezes, the largest droplets typically settle about three to six feet from the sneezer. But smaller ones can travel up to 26 feet and linger in the air for several minutes. And interestingly, some people have more elastic saliva. Their sneezes can travel even farther, making them so-called super spreaders. Air temperature, humidity, and the layout of the room and ventilation can all impact the sneeze cloud. For example, the airflow patterns on an airplane actually help spread the sneeze around. Researchers say mapping this sneeze cloud will help them create environments that reduce the spread of illness. In the meantime, grab a tissue and keep your sneeze cloud to yourself. Now this vividly illustrates why covering your coughs and sneezes is so important. Go for your elbow and not your hands. It also highlights how important it is to get enough sleep, eat healthy and so on, because a healthy immune system will help fight off some of these germs, even if you are caught in a sneeze cloud. Back to you. <laughs> Keep your sneeze clouds to yourself.